I'm Jacqueline Kalina, and today on Trade Secrets, we're going to find out how Hillsborough County is saving energy, and it's super cool, so stay tuned. I'm here with Randy Clinworth, Hillsborough County's energy manager, and we're surrounded by ice. Randy, what is all of this? These are the ice storage tanks for the central chiller plant that we built. We make ice at night when the energy rates are cheaper and use the ice during the day to help supplement the chill water for the downtown air conditioning for the buildings. So what does it take to be an energy manager for Hillsborough County? Um, it, it, I went to school for it back a long time ago and I've been doing it a long time. Um, but the energy manager, you, you, you help people just get in the habit of turn things off if you don't use it. Monitor the usage, your consumption. I do the numbers for them. I show them what the savings could be, the potential savings, if you do this task. And I, I come up with measures. I see ways people can do things a little bit differently. A lot of it, too, is working with all the utility bills. We've got 2,300 electric accounts with Tampa Electric, and in the past five years, we've eliminated about 150 of them. So this chiller plant, um, it's pretty extensive. Could you walk us through what it takes to make <laughs> ice? We've got a chiller in, in the building that will produce very cold water. We have a glycol solution that comes out here at 24 degrees that freezes the water. And then during the day when we burn, what we call burn ice, where the ice melts, we use that colder water to help the chill water going out to the buildings. And you air conditioned down here 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 52 weeks a year. The full-time job. It's year round. <laughs> wow, so you have this down to a science. How does something like this get started? We started it back in about 1998 when we were gonna build the new Edgecombe Court facility. Instead of building separate chillers in each building, we, we put one central chiller in. I came in 2000 and we expanded it to five county-owned buildings supplied with chill water from the plant plus two school district buildings. That has to be saving the county tons of money. <laughs> On average, we're saving about $1.5 million a year. Wow. And a lot of energy. Very impressive. So how does it work? The chill water flows through an air handler, which is similar to a coil like a radiator on a car. And that chill water goes through that coil and air is blowing across that coil. The heat's taken out of the air so it's cold air coming out of the air handler. It goes into the office spaces. The route from the chiller plant out to the buildings is all underground. And it leaves the plant and goes through the edge comb. And we have pipe that comes out of that building and goes across the street to the annex court complex. And then we also have another pipe out of the edge comb goes across the street to the 700 twigs. And then from there, we go down the street, go into 419 Pierce, come out of it, go through Courthouse Square Park, and then we go across to the county center. Now there's another piece that comes off of 419 that goes down and across the street over to the school district's administration building and the new Rampello School they built a few years ago. So it's a kind of a maze of piping. It's quite the journey. It's quite the journey. Wow. Is there anything like this in Hillsborough County? Vinick, uh, down here at the new channel side, they're going to be building a plant down there. Uh, Tampa Housing Authority has one, already built a small one. Pinellas County's got one just like ours, and there's other counties and agencies that have came, they've come here and looked at ours and like it. And Wow, so we're really setting the tone yes. as far as energy efficiency. Right, and this type of operation for uh, air conditioning. Very cool, pun intended. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Randy. You're welcome. To learn more about the chiller plant, check us out online. See you next time on Trade Secrets.